Hi guys, uh, Sam here, Anti-Fitness Personal Trainer. For the last part of this series of Advanced Intermediate Training Protocols, I'm going to talk about blood flow restriction training. It's not as crazy as it sounds. It's uh, another tool you can use in your training protocol, training routine, uh, to help so you don't lift such heavy weights all the time, but still kind of get that same stimulus and or damage to your muscles. This is a protocol that has been popularized by a guy named Jeremy Lenicky. Uh, he has really done a lot of great research talking about blood flow restriction training. So what it is, is you wrap like a knee wrap for your, you can either do your lower body, which could be like thighs, hamstrings, or you do like your upper body. It works a little bit for like chest or back, but mostly for arms, like if you're doing biceps or triceps. Um, you can use this also a really good time to use it is if like you're injured or you have something nagging and you don't want to do like heavy squats. Maybe you just do like a blood flow restriction leg press, for example. So how you do this protocol is you wrap, I'll show you, you wrap, say a knee wrap, okay, you can use a knee wrap as what's preferred actually. Um, you wrap this, okay, you're not gonna be wrapping it till like you can't move, okay? I know this is kind of like intimidating for some people, but give it a shot. And how you wrap it is you wrap it as high up in your, in your uh, leg crease as you can. And you do it, I would probably say, like seven out of 10 tightness, okay? I'm not cranking it, okay? Um, but pretty tight, okay? You shouldn't feel like pins or needles going down your leg or anything like that. Um, and what you're doing is you're not stopping blood flow um, going into the leg, you're trying to stop it coming out. And what that does is it gets a lot of metabolic fatigue in your muscles. So how you do this then, I'm just doing, doing one leg for example. You could do both legs, you could do both arms, you could do single legs, whatever. You could do supersets with it. You want to do like leg press and hamstring curls, for example, or you do biceps and triceps. So how you do this protocol is you wrap it around your leg, and for leg press, for example, um, and just a, a side note, okay, if you're doing calves, as I know we've done calves for the past two videos, you would still wrap it up here. You wouldn't wrap it around like your kneecap, okay? Always wrap it up at your thigh or at your top of your shoulder. There's only two places you wrap. So for this protocol, um, what's recommended? is you do one set of 30 reps, okay? You do 30 reps, you know, 30, you stop, you rest for 30 seconds, okay? Then you do 15 reps, okay? After 15, you rest, then another 15, and then you do another 15. So the protocol is 30, 30 second break, 15, 15, 15. The wrap doesn't come off until the whole cycle is completed. Then you can do the other leg, or that's it. So, or you can do superset with it also. Um, I would only recommend doing this, what's been shown, just do one complete set. I wouldn't do both, like mile reps. You could do two sets um, of each, um, but of, of each movement. But for blood flow restriction training, I would only do one total set. Now, for upper body, um, I'll show you. You can either do you can get a knee wrap, you can cut it in half. The problem with knee wraps for a lot of people, especially females, but even for a lot of guys, is it's too wide for your arm because you want it to be like kind of right where the bicep connects. So this is too wide. What you can do is either you can fold it in half or long ways, or you can just get an extra knee wrap and cut it down the middle, or you can go on Amazon. There's like a little a tourniquet I've seen people use. They're really cheap, like five, 10 bucks, um, and you can wrap this. I wouldn't recommend going over a sweatshirt. This is very thin material, okay? I would rather recommend going over skin for like your arms, but just for this example, because I'm wearing this, how you do this is you bring this to your arm, you bring it up as high as you can, hey. like this, and you, and you wrap it, and, uh, <laughs> and you tighten it about seven out of 10, and then you come over here. And all these weights is probably about 20 to 30 percent of your max. Okay, you're not going to be going super heavy. That's why it's such high reps. So you do 30 reps. Okay, you do the same protocol. And then you rest. And you do it again. And like I said, for arms, especially, you can do supersets. You can do triceps. And then you can do biceps. So give this give this protocol a shot. Okay, I'll have some links in the description explaining it. Also, some interviews with Jeremy Lenicky if you're interested. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the gym. All right, guys, take care.